end as Diddy remains locked up inside of the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. TMZ reporting more people may be getting ready to cooperate with the feds. Let's get the latest from Fox 5 Sharon Crowley live in our newsroom. Sharon. Yeah, that's right, Teresa and Steve. Uh, TMZ is learning that two sex workers appear to be poised to cooperate with federal investigators. The hip-hop music mogul Sean Combs, of course, was arrested earlier this week and charged with sex trafficking and using his power and prestige to sexually abuse women for years. Disgraced music mogul Sean Diddy Combs remains behind bars at the Federal Detention Center in Brooklyn. The U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York arresting Combs Monday on sex trafficking charges. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances, which he called freak offs, and he often electronically recorded them. Combs pled not guilty, and his lawyers tried to get him released on bond, but the judge denied his bail. It means for now he will remain locked up until trial. We've been told uh, by a former warden is he's a target. Um, uh, that's the fact of the matter, and that's why they have him uh, in a uh, in a solitary. Uh, part of the of the jail. TMZ now reporting the investigation into Combs's alleged crimes is expanding, and at least one sex worker has been subpoenaed to appear before a grand jury. We found out that uh, these two individuals, and we have actually uh, spoken to one of them. They are both sex workers, currently sex workers. One of them says that they had um, an interaction with Diddy in 2014. Um, and they are willing to uh, tell the feds what they know about that interaction. Criminal defense lawyer Jeremy Saland says he expects prosecutors will continue to pursue leads to bolster their chances for a conviction. You can't, as a prosecutor, subpoena or force a witness to come speak to you in your, in your office, but you can subpoena them to a grand jury where they can speak there uh, or have to potentially speak there. So whether these are new witnesses, whether these are new complainants, meaning victim parties, uh, making the allegations, uh, will yet to be seen, but it doesn't bode well. It doesn't, you know, certainly it's not a good thing if you're Sean Combs' team. Well, the judge ruled that the uh, Sean Combs was a danger to the community and posed too much of a risk of possibly interfering with his case, and that is why he's, his bail was denied, Teresa. His next court date is in October, and if he's convicted, he could face up to life.